wonderful Aquarius gods and goddesses. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading. Oh my gosh, we're going to leave those cards sitting right there. Some cards fell over and we're going to leave them sitting right there. Let me see if I can adjust so you can see which cards. Yes, they're right there. So listen, we're going to leave those cards right there. I'm talking to my cuspers, right? So if your sun sign is an Aquarius and your birthday is between uh, February 14th through February the 18th, you are an Aquarius with Pisces tendencies. I'm going to give you the definition of cusp and see and tell you how all of this works um, so that... In case you're watching the video or a cross watcher is watching the video, it's like, oh my God, those are the wrong dates. No, they're not. <laughs> so just make sure we're all on the same sheet of music. Yes, first and foremost, a cusp, because I'm talking to my cuspers. This is highly requested videos. People have been sending me text messages and emails. When are you going to talk about the cuspers? I was born on the cusp. Can you do a reading for that? The answer is yes, it is here right now. So I'm doing it for each and every sign. So if you know someone who falls on the on the dates that I share, even if it's not your sign, share it with other people. You know, they may find it uh, interesting for them, you know, to listen to uh, these videos. But these are timeless. These videos are timeless. So, a cusp by definition means the point at which a new astrological sign begins. That's all a cusp means. Yes. Yes, it's Greek. Cuspus, you know, means point right so the word cusp like i said means the point at which a new astrological sign begins matter of fact when i'm talking about the sun sign aquarius with a pisces um with pisces tendencies um i already uploaded an aquarius video with capricorn tendencies so go check that out if it applies to you um and then of course you know the regular aquarius videos uploads every Sunday and every Monday and if I add more videos or more content then make sure you set your uh, your alerts to all so that way you'll get all of the, um, the the notifications your notifications to all but the Sun does not um, move into a new sign at exactly the same moment each year right that's why you may have somebody to say uh, no Aquarius starts January 19th Aquarius starts January 20th Aquarius starts January 21st so like I said the Sun does not move into a new sign at exactly the same moment each year and the dates for the different Sun signs may vary by a day or so right so kind of sort of give or take right matter of fact some astrologers still differ about when a person is born on the cusp and so some astrologers claim it means within the first or last two days of the sign. Others say it's between, it's uh, within the first or last 10 days. So the consensus is five days, right? So that's why, you know, I gave you those dates, uh, February 14th through February 18th, meaning that you're an Aquarius, um, being that you're an Aquarius with Pisces tendencies. So we're gonna get right into it. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Aquarius with Pisces tendencies as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have from our wonderful Aquarians, gods and goddesses with Pisces tendencies? Yes, yes. And so as an Aquarius, I want you to say, I am a god. I am open-minded. I'm a humanitarian. I am very creative. I am free-spirited, intellectual, very powerful. I am friendly. I am independent, original, progressive the pisces in me is an empath i am artistic emotional in a good way i am selfless i'm a natural healer more cars are trying to fly out the deck yes i'm a natural healer i am compassionate intuitive very gentle wise in a lot of cases musical even if you don't play an instrument you may just absolutely love music right so yes embrace all parts of you as an aquarius you're a divine masculine so your energy is directed outward but as the pisces in you that energy is directed inward so that means that you are um people are drawn to that energy right and pisces being the last sign in the zodiac absorbs energy so not only are you intel extremely intelligent right um a humanitarian but also an empath omg wow amazing you all should be tarot card readers you're definitely healers all right so let's let's get into uh and psychics and clairvoyant and claircognizant just clear everything right here we have the devil card right so we're gonna put this right here 
Um, we also have the Eight of Wands. We're going to put this right here. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have the Emperor card, which is attached to Aries. The Devil card, by the way, is attached to the sign Capricorn. Um, we have the Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also have the Knight of Swords. Make sure you all can see Knight of Swords. Uh huh. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. We also have the Queen of Swords. Yes. So listen, let's talk about this. We have the Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So some of you all, listen to this. The message that I'm getting here so far. First, I want to share with you when you are a, I'm an Aquarius with Pisces tendencies. That means that you have an easygoing charm that fits in well with almost any group. Whereas you have many acquaintances, those who know you really well are few, right? So it also means that you have a lighthearted exterior that often hides deeper feelings. In work, you are a forward thinker and you're progressive, but it also, you are very cautious, right? And so you view life with somewhat jaded eye and won't rush into anything without investigation. Nothing offends you more than being unfairly dealt with. You tend to have extravagant taste and enjoy spending money, right? So nothing wrong with that because we're looking at at least eight streams of income. Very hardworking person, right? You don't want to be taken for granted. You're hardworking. You're smart. Again, an Aquarius with Pisces tendencies. Very, very... Aquarius is the smartest sign in the zodiac, right? You, a smartest sign in the zodiac. But not only that, you don't fall within that... Um, you know, when people say Aquarius don't have any emotion, don't have any emotions, don't have emotions or it's hard for an Aquarius to show emotions, that's not true. Not true at all in this case, right? Um, you feel very, very deeply, but you are wise and emotionally intelligent enough not to show every single person around you. You're not some like person who just, just can't control their emotions, right? Yes, and so um, that makes you very, very able to read people very well. Um, <laughs> without without reacting you know like some people are so emotional they just react to everything it's like oh my god you know control your emotions but that's not your problem not your problem at all so what i'm seeing here is that some of you all have had some demonic energy that was trying to attach itself to you right that demonic energy um um was very very manipulative right it's almost like a person who thought that they could play you, but they actually ended up playing themselves, right? Because they didn't really, really realize how smart, how intelligent you were. And the fact that you didn't necessarily show exactly that you knew that they were a manipulator, right? You're a hardworking person. And so you had to get as far away from this energy as possible, right? Demonic energy is very, very dangerous. I don't care what anybody says because it's very crafty. That kind of energy is... Um, that kind of energy is like, it, it shows two sides, right? So maybe to you, that person is a very, very hardworking person. They have seemed like they were really classy. They seem like they're very responsible, the whole nine yards. But with you, they came across, and they even came across like this at first, like the knight in shining armor. Like they just had it all together emotionally. They were intact, the whole nine yards. And this is what you also have to be, you know, leery of is people who try to gaslight you. And the moment somebody tries to gaslight you, this is what you have to be, you know, because the humanitarian in you will want to fix them. That's the Aquarius. That You will want to fix them. The Pisces in you is always rooting for the underdog, right? Even though you could know that the person is trying to gaslight you, they're very crafty, they're a liar, they're Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, all of this other stuff, right? The Aquarius in you is intelligent enough and that's that sword energy to completely cut it off like immediately just cut it off right when you balance out your energy you're saying okay i'm tapped fully into my aquarius energy but i'm also tapped into my pisces energy the pisces in me is not going to nurture that the aquarius in me is just going to cut it off right and because again the universe is trying to replace this energy with money. It's trying to replace this energy with the right soul tribe in your life. This is what I'm saying. 
any manipulators in your life. This is, I mean, really, this is a, a perfect balance um, of a person who can have somebody standing right in your face lying and trying to play you, but don't even realize that they're actually playing themselves, right? You can sit right there with a smile on your face like, look at this fool. This person is really trying to take advantage of me. And what I'm getting is that for some of you all, it has actually happened it, uh, from a person like an authoritative figure, like a person who, um, who knows that you work very, very hard, know that you deserve like a certain amount of money, but they're trying to act like, like I said, they're trying to play you, right? And so right now, you're, this is what you're focused on. You're focusing on you. You're focusing on running towards your goals and also setting very, very healthy boundaries. And this is what I love, the fact that you're setting very healthy boundaries. This right here is Aquarius energy. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, but this is a queen of swords. A lot of times what people don't realize about the way that the queen of swords got to be on this throne is that she had to endure a lot before she got to this throne, right? So that's why she has her sword at rest position. She's not playing around. She will cut somebody off just like that right you try to come up to queen of swords with this devil energy she's already seen you miles away why because ancestors most high god already alerted her here comes that devil energy and she's sitting right there just waiting waiting for the person to come out their mouth sideways or come out their neck sideways and say something crazy cut them off right there sharp tongue will cut a person off right away and i'm not even rude about it still very friendly still very compassionate and those are some of the uh, characteristics of both aquarius and pisces still very compassionate but you're an empath you've already peaked their game you've already picked up on that energy long before they even stepped up to you yes and so this is the energy that you will cut off just like that because again they <laughs> they try to um they mistook your kindness for weakness, right? That's that's what I'm getting. Person mistook your kindness for weakness, right? But they actually ended up hurting themselves because they really could have gotten the best out of you. So what I'm seeing here, um, Aquarius with Pisces tendencies, and I have to keep saying that because I don't want people to be a cross watcher and assume that I'm talking about Aquarius somewhere in your chart. I'm talking to Aquarius sun sign with Pisces tendencies where your birthday is between February 14th and February the 18th. Here we hear as you tap into your strength, right? This card is Leo's card. This is fixed energy. So you're a very, very strong person. And not only that, remember this message is timeless. You can watch it. You can play it back at any time. Not only that, you are healed. This is Aquarius energy right here. You've always been a star shining bright, shining bright for the whole world to see, right? Stars are going to shine regardless. When you look out at the sky tonight, you see the stars shining, right? You may not see them during the day because the sun is a star, right? One big star. But they're shining. They shine in the light and they shine in the dark. Constantly just shining. So you're tapped into, you're standing in your strength. You know who you are. You're unapologetic about it. You're still very friendly. You're still compassionate. But people who try to come up against you with this demonic energy is going to be in for a rude awakening. Not only they're creating, and not only that, they're only creating their own karma. So I see perfect synergy for you. I see you being very happy in the workplace, actually, you know, despite people who try to take you for a fold, right? Yeah, they actually end up playing themselves. And I see you feeling like you jumped off of a treasure chest. But again, it's, it speaks to, you know, um, um, this, this also speaks to um, you having this there's a there's a energy in you that knows that you be, you deserve having an extravagant lifestyle but again you are very compassionate you are not um you're not this um you're not a superficial person this is like I, this is something that i work very hard for so i actually deserve it right and it's unapologetic because every aquarius is a humanitarian right so you being a humanitarian is you're not only living this extravagant lifestyle for you, but you're also willing to bring other people along, right? See how this person is jumping out of a jumping out of a treasure chest? That's how you feel emotionally because again, and not only that, you look very very attractive to a lot of people because you are healed. You're completely healed. 
perfect synergy for you in the workplace when it comes to your money. Yeah. And we have the six of wands here, victorious. Why? Because you are completely healed from this type of energy right here. You're completely healed from this. This energy right here, I can't even, I can't reiterate this enough about demonic energy. And I'm not talking about Capricorns. I'm talking about the characteristics of the person who, um, tried to play you like I said very hard working person they they come off to you you can see right through them like everybody looks at them and they says oh yeah this person is a team player that this like so people speak very highly of them but you can see through to the real them right you're emotionally intelligent and balancing now plus you're healed and this type of energy like I said would come off as if see if you were out of balance Aquarius with Pisces tendency if you were out of balance you'd be like oh wow this person is perfect for me. But because you are balanced out, you can see right through this. You can see that these flowers are not fresh. They're wilted. You can see that these grapes have turned into raisins. You can see that this note has nothing in it, right? You can see right through this energy. You can see right through that energy. That is the power of you having um, the best of both of these signs in you. Yes, absolutely. So you don't want to allow a person like this because if you are out of balance guess what that causes you especially having those both of those tendencies right you're having pisces being an aquarius with pisces tendencies it'll cause you to become moody it'll be called cause you to become an escapist like something is wrong but i just want to escape this reality it'll cause you to drink it'll cause you to engage in you know even prescription drugs right but or you know, it'll cause you to be impossible or unpredictable or inconsistent or even stubborn, right? But you don't have to become any of those things. Why? Because you're healed. Your thoughts are really, really organized. You are in a position where people are actually looking up to you. They're like, wow, who is this person, right? People are drawn to your energy because you know a lot of a lot about a lot of things. You're extremely intelligent. That's the Aquarius in you. The Pisces in you is compassionate. You're easy. You're friendly. You're easy to get along with the whole nine yards. But you're intelligent enough, like I said, to have light a lighthearted exterior, but you're able to hide deeper feelings. Like you're not some emotional basket case. Let's pull a um. Let's pull a an oracle card and see what this card has to say yes alone time see this water right here <laughs> yes this is you right up your alley alley pisces water sign you want to spend some alone time around water to recharge right out in the air because you're an air sign but you also want to spend some time in the water to recharge your energy right and you see that sun right there removing all that stale energy from you that's what the sun does right removes all the stale energy be out in that sunlight but again this is what i have for you aquarius with pisces tendencies whose birthday is on february from february the 14th through february the 18th again continue shining you absolutely deserve every bit of happiness that you can handle really your cards look absolutely great again this message is timeless if you feel like any of the cusp videos you feel like you want to share them with other people please share the videos with other people um just so that they can also know what um cusp means for one and also how it applies to them being on the cusp that's what i have for you aquarius with pisces tendencies have a great one bye